Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll discuss about the operators in shell scripting. So here in this operators, we'll mainly focus on three operators. That is arithmetic operators, relational operators and the Boolean operators. So coming to the first one, arithmetic operators. So we all know about these arithmetic operators, right? So Arithmetic operators are addition, subtraction, star, that is multiplication. And here the multiplication is represented as a slash and star, division, modulo. So all these are the arithmetic operators. So one uh, major difference is multiplication. So multiplication can be represented by using slash and star. So if you simply give star, it doesn't uh, perform the multiplication. So in order to do the multiplication, you need to use this one. And one more thing. The next one is a relational operators. So relational operators. So we know that these relational operators are used in a conditions. right? So whenever we are supposed to write the conditions, we will use these relational operators. So normally the relational operator means which gives the relation between different operands. So less than, greater than, less than or equal to, greater than or equal to, double is equal to, not equal to. So all these are the relational operators. And we can use the symbols directly in shell script or simply you can use a hyphen LT. LT stands for less than, right? And greater than hyphen gt so instead of using the symbol we can use this one hyphen gt and this is less than or equal to hyphen le and this is greater than or equal to hyphen ge and this is double is equal to eq and this is not equal to hyphen n e it's a not equal to so we can use these formats instead of using the symbols in relational operators and the third one is a boolean operators so boolean operators right so boolean operators here we'll use these boolean operators in between uh, the multiple conditions so that means negation or and so this is, we call it as a negation negation or and and this is called a logical okay so logical operators, all the logical operators. That means if you want to compare multiple conditions, then we'll use this one or instead of or we are using hyphen Z, hyphen O, small o. And end operator hyphen A is used for end operations. And how we have to represent the expressions. This is very important because if you want to write any condition, we are writing some operands and in between the operands, we are supposed to write the operator, relational operator. So here, if you want to check the condition, so dollar $A will give the value of A, right? And dollar $B, it gives the value of B, okay? And in order to represent this one, if you want to write a condition, so just give the dollar value, I mean variable, operand 1 space give the symbol gt space dollar b okay simply operand operand 1 space operator operator and space operand 2 operand 2 and enclose everything in square brackets square brackets right so square brackets place everything in a square brackets and this just observe you have to use dollar a space hyphen gt space dollar b so this will give the condition and if you want to apply the boolean operator you need to go with dollar a gt the sorry dollar b okay or again 
डॉलर ए ग्रेटर देन डॉलर सी सी दिस इज मल्टीपल कंडीशन वी आर चेकिंग मल्टीपल कंडीशन एंड दिस इज ऑर दिस इज ऑर सो इफ यू यूज ए दैट विल बी द एंड ऑपरेटर एंड right so this is most important how we have to write the conditions how we have to use the operators so a space should be given between the operator and operand right every time we need to give the space and this is one thing multiplication if you want to perform the multiplication you have to use a slash and star so i will i will explain you this uh, co this conditions uh, while seeing the conditional statements if right so i am not showing any uh, practical implementation of this thing so you will be understanding the representation of this thing while uh, watching the uh, conditional statements right so in the next sessions i will tell you about the conditional statements simply if if else if else if else and a case so there you are supposed to write a condition and there i will show you how we have to write the condition and how it will be evaluated right so hope you understood this one so let's stop here and if you really enjoyed my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much